There are a lot of people in the kitchen this morning and only one cook right there. I don't know if you guys cook, but I don't cook well, but I feel I have a feeling he does. So we're in the kitchen. We're telling you about an event that's coming up in February, a taste of wine and cheese. And I'm here with some of the folks with the Radisson Hotel and Conference Center, as well as the Boys and Girls Club of Green Bay. Chef Brian's here with me, Vivek and Stephanie. So thank you everybody for being here. Let's first start out with you, Stephanie, talking yes. about what this event is. So a taste of wine and cheese is the Boys and Girls Club of Green Bay's largest and signature event. It's our biggest fundraiser of the year and it's being hosted at the Radisson Hotel and Conference Center on Friday, February 13th from 7 to 10 p.m. and there's 400 different wines to taste, tons of different cheeses from Belgioso mm. and over 150 silent auction items. So it's going to be a great night. It sounds like it. We have all the information online for you, but we're going to cook with some of those cheeses, talk about the wines today. Vivek, tell me about what we're going to do here, what Brian will do. Uh, Brian Singer uh, has experience of 25 years of cooking experience, and he's cooking meatball burger today uh, with the Bulgisio cheese and can go very well with the, any kind of wine, red, white wine or red wine. So Okay, Brian great. Singer. Chef Brian, can you okay. take us through what we're going to do okay. now? What I started with is a basic meatloaf recipe. It's equal parts of ground beef, ground veal, and ground pork. Uh, they're approximately about five ounces a piece, one pound there. It's mixed with three quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs, half a cup of uh, Romano cheese grated, tablespoon of fresh parsley, tablespoon of garlic, salt, pepper, and one egg, and a half a cup of water. This is my mix right here. Uh, form yourself little patties. Okay. You can make little sliders. Make sure they fit on your bun. Uh, I brown them here about two to three minutes on each side, maybe, maybe, maybe four minutes. Um, I top them with creamy gorgonzola cheese oh. from Belle Gioioso. You're gonna take that, you melt them a little bit on top, and then uh, while this is melting, I toasted some of your buns. I have some pretzel rolls and some ciabatta buns. When they are ready, you're going to assemble them on our little buns here. Mm -hmm. So is that cheese similar to like blue cheese? Does yes. it have a similar taste? Yes, it's a bit stronger. Okay. And this is a creamy gorgonzola, which means it's a little moister, very creamy and very, very, very good. Um, putting some of these things in recipes, you don't have to add much because you don't want to ruin the high quality of the cheese. Okay, so what are you adding on top there? Marinara sauce, a little bit of a dab, and some grilled red onions. And top them. Oop. Oh, like wow. That. That looks great. Where do you get these cute little buns? Festival foods. Oh my gosh, they're adorable. Festival I, foods. I love it. You, you can put them on any kind of bun you like. Just a little French roll, a dinner roll. These are rosemary uh, ciabatta rolls and then the pretzel roll. Okay, wonderful. Vivek, tell me about the wine that we have here today. What would be good with something like this? Uh, something like this, you can go with the, any kind of red wine or white wine. Today we are featuring wine from Columbia Winery. From, uh, uh, it's from Cal uh, California wine. Mm. And it can go very well with uh, any kind of slider, or any kind of a small burger, which can be served as a snack or can be served in a uh, reception parties or uh, anywhere you can enjoy them. Mm -hmm. uh, Chef Brian has created a great menu in, um, in a pine tree restaurant, uh, which is uh, in Radisson Hotel. And if you can see, uh, th this red wine can go very well with that. Wow. As well as you can go with the white wine, which can go very well with this, these sliders. It is very flavorful wine, uh, Chardonnay and Cabernet Sauvignon from uh, uh, Columbia Winery. Beautiful. Go to our website to learn more. Coming up in the 8 o'clock hour, too, we're going to talk about some of the programs, too, mm -hmm. that, that this event will benefit. We're going to make another recipe. What's mm -hmm. that going to be? Uh, carbonara. I can't wait. This is so much fun, carbonara, isn't it? Carbonara, yes. Talking about wine, cheese, and food. What could be better? Go to our website to learn more. Good Day Wisconsin. We'll be right back.